Hello and welcome back to another episode of John Boat Jiraiya. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the U-Haul trailer hitch installation. By the end of the video, I'm going to be giving you guys recommendations as to whether or not you should tow a small John boat or other personal watercraft with your subcompact or sedan vehicle. Now some points to take into consideration are these vehicles are not intended or engineered for towing purposes. What that means is the suspension, the braking system, the powertrain, those components uh, are not engineered for that purpose. Um, it is advisable, obviously, if you have access or if you're thinking about purchasing a vehicle and you need to tow something, my advice is always go with the manufacturer's recommendations and you know pick a vehicle that, that tows the, uh, the weight that you need to tell. With that being said, um, not all of us, you know, can, can do have access to those kinds of vehicles. I did recently have to sell my Ford F-150 and um, I traded it for a commuter vehicle um, and I do need to be able to tow my small John boat. So this video is really intended for those out there, you know, in, the, in my position, which is I have a subcompact vehicle or a sedan or a minivan or something that isn't quite intended for towing and you know I just need to tow something that's lighter. So I'm going to be giving you guys some recommendations at the end of the video um, if it's worth it, if the cost is worth it, and if it's safe. So let's get into it. So I started my journey on the U-Haul website. I placed an order through uhaul.com. I uh, went through the process of selecting the, the different components. Wasn't really even sure why I had different options here, but I just kind of went through uh, the selection process. Now there was only one available location, which was actually about 45 miles from my home. So not super convenient. So three weeks later, I receive a call from a U-Haul representative and I schedule my installation and it goes pretty smoothly. Now when I get the bill, it's about $431, $150 of that being labor. I was kind of shooken about that price, but I went ahead and went through with it. Overall, satisfied with the installation. Uh, looks like they bolted the uh, trailer hitch to the frame of the Chevy Sonic. Now onto the fun part. So actually, uh, putting the boat onto the trailer hitch was fairly easy. I had no issues here. It seemed to just slide right onto the ball. Uh, the wiring harness and everything worked perfectly. Now I noticed the first thing when I had it hooked up is there seemed to be a lot of noise uh, coming from, maybe it was from the trailer or maybe it was from the process of towing that trailer. I wasn't entirely sure if it was, maybe I have a, you know, maybe my tires need to be replaced or the bearings are going bad on that trailer. That's a, certainly a possibility. Um, but there was quite a bit of additional noise in the, in the cabin of the vehicle while towing it. Um, that right off the bat, that's the first thing I noticed. The second thing I noticed is um, because the suspension in the Chevy Sonic was so stiff, while I was towing the, the John boat, um, you know, a lot of the contents inside of the boat appeared to be shifting around quite a bit. So this actually caused an issue. I had a fishing pole fly out and unfortunately a, a car actually ran it over. So um, that, that is a really unfortunate uh, byproduct of, of towing the, the boat this way. So removing the boat from the trailer was actually fairly simple. Um, I backed up uh, you know, pretty easily, no, no issues. My, my brakes seemed to hold the boat pretty well. Um, the, the vehicle didn't feel like it was trying to slide into the water. Um, so no, no real issues. The only concern that I had is just how low this car is to the ground. And I felt like if I had backed up just a little bit more, then I'd probably just flood my car. Okay, now on to my conclusion of the video here. Do I recommend U-Haul's trailer hitch installation service? Yes, I absolutely do. It is a bit expensive. They do offer a pretty good warranty. They also do a pretty good job installing it. They didn't cut any corners when they did my installation. I would recommend it. All right, so back to my second question, which is do I recommend towing 
with a subcompact car or other vehicle that's not intended for doing so. Um, I'm going to give this a 50-50 response. Um, if you have a vehicle that is well maintained, has new tires, has new brakes, um, everything is working and functional, uh, yes, you can, you can safely tow a John boat or other small watercraft with that vehicle, and I would recommend it in that case. If you have a vehicle that is older, um, has you know worn out tires, maybe uh, the brakes haven't been replaced in a while, then it's, it's not a good idea. Um, you should probably uh, use a different vehicle for it. All right, so this concludes my video. Thanks again for watching. If you guys like my content, be sure to like and subscribe the videos and take care. And I'll see you guys on the next one.